everyone, Janie here, and today I wanted to share my newest craft purchase with you just in case you might be interested. So let's head on over and take a look. I have always used Spectrum Noir alcohol ink markers and I love them. And so I decided it was time that I check out the Spectrum Noir Tri-Blend markers, which are also alcohol ink markers. And so I bought the 24 piece essential set and thought that would be a good way to decide if I like them. The reason I showed you the still shots first is because I wanted you to see the true color of this box, which is a bright pink and not the color that you are seeing here. And even though I've already showed you a still shot of the inside, there's something that I can't show you really in a still shot, which is that each of these markers comes sealed. You can see the reflection on there. Um, each one is individually sealed and I like that because that means when they arrive to me they are fresh and new and there is no doubt about it. Each box comes with 24 markers and so let's pull this top layer off right here and there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight which means that there's going to be three rows of markers here. So I'm going to pull the next one out. And there is the third row. So there's 24 markers, but because there are three markers in one, it's like having 72 markers. And I think it's really awesome because the colors that blend well together are all in one marker and I don't have to go digging around trying to find what's going to work because I already know. Another thing that's nice is if you are new to um, using these markers, it gives you instructions on how to get the best results. And I think that is really great if you didn't already know how to do it. I'm sure there's many videos out there, but sometimes you open a box and it's good to just read, oh, this is how it works. So that's a plus. I really am happy they put that in the box. I found this color chart online and I'm going to put a link below in the description box where you can find it. And it also comes pre-colored or it comes this way. And I chose to print out the blank chart so that I can put my own colors in there and the reason is because what if what I print out turns out to not be true to color but when I'm doing it myself I know that what I see here is what's coming out of my marker so if you're interested in this chart look below in the description box for the link where you can find this Here's a closer look at the blank color chart and here are the colors that came in the essential set that I got and as you can see there are more color sets that you can get. Okay, I wanted to save one of these and unwrap it on camera for you so you can see how it was done and I just got carried away. So I'll just let you know that it comes with a zip strip down one side so you just you will find the side that it's on which is actually I believe this side right here and you just pull it and unwrap it. So with that said, and now that they're open, I want to talk to you about a couple of other things. So I had always wondered, how do they work this with the three colors? Because I've never actually had one of these before. I've never held one in my hand or looked at it. And I actually figured it out on my own. So we have the light end, which takes up this whole part of the tube right there. And then in this tube, it is split between the dark and the medium. And so you may be thinking, well, that's not fair. We're getting less of the dark and the medium than we are of the light. But you're gonna be using more of the light because you're gonna be using that for the base color. And then after you do the shading, you're gonna use that to blend it together. So you will be using less of the medium and the dark just because you're just gonna use that for shading. And another thing I wanted to point out is I chose to get the one with the nib end on it. But it also comes with a brush end. So you can buy it either way. You can either buy the nib or the brush, but pay attention to the box when you buy it to make sure that you are getting the one you want. Because it took me quite a while to figure out the difference between the two boxes. Because sometimes I'm just not that bright. So I just wanted to give you a heads up so that you make sure you get the one that you want. So 
here we go there is the light end right there and then you can take this off and that has the medium color and at the other end we have the dark color and what I really like is that it tells you that it tells you this is light this is medium this is dark so that there's no confusion whatsoever it also gives you the color numbers right there in each space as well as telling you what the color blend is on the end so you know exactly what you're going for and so these are great things um, you know for me I just need to know that these colors are going to blend together and also uh, one more thing is that if there's a color that you use a lot they actually sell these individually so you don't have to go buy a whole set again you just go buy what you need to, um, to replace what you've used up um, I think I've only used up some markers once in my life but <laughs> anyways I'm trying to think if there was something else that I wanted to tell you about this but those are the great features and I'm just discovering these because like I said I have never seen these before in my life so you're getting to see what I see for the first time you're getting my reaction for the first time and now I think I want to go practice some coloring and I will be back to show you what I've done and maybe show you you know me actually coloring I'll try that I usually don't color on camera so no promises here but I'll be back well guess what you're gonna get to see me color a little bit and so I'm starting off with the light color as the base color and once I have it all colored I'm gonna come in with the mid-tone and add some shading and then I'm gonna come in with the dark tone to add a little bit more shading and once I have done all of that I'm going to go back over it with the light color to make sure that everything blends nicely. And that's one of the advantages of alcohol ink markers as opposed to regular markers. And please keep in mind that I am not an experienced colorist and could really use some practice. So I'm just trying to show you how the markers work. And with that done, I'd like to say that I absolutely love these markers and I love that all three colors blend together so beautifully and it's really nice having them all in one marker. And even though I didn't plan on this being a review video when I started, it was supposed to be just more of a share and demo, but I have to say that I love everything about these markers and if you're interested, I will have a link below in the description box to where you can find them. Thank you all so much for stopping by and letting me share with you. And as always, happy crafting, everyone. Bye-bye.